holding us to account is super important. RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky spent more than 10 hours speaking in front of the public inquiry into the Nova Scotia massacre. Facing the lawyers for victims' families, at times she had no answers. I don't have any explanation for it. A lawyer for the family of the gunman's final victim asked why they weren't told where her body was taken. I can't imagine the myriad of things that were going on. I, it still doesn't. It still doesn't make it any better for the family. Near the end of her testimony, Lucky tried to reach out to the families. I want to apologize for the RCMP, but I, in, a, in such a way that we weren't what you expected us to be, and I don't think we were what you wanted us to be or what you needed us to be. But for some, like the son of Don Madsen and Frank Gulenshin, who were killed in their port pic home, those words were hollow. Um, is there anything she can say for me to install any more trust in the RCMP as an organization? Absolutely not. One lawyer who represents most of the victims' families says they only really want one thing from Lucky. Be candid, be direct, uh, be transparent, um, and, and tell them the truth. And that truth must include what the RCMP is doing to review its mistakes. Well, we're 28 months out, so yes. when is this internal review going to take place as I'm recommended by your commanding officers for the province of Nova Scotia? I'm not sure. Are there any immediate plans to do so? I'm not sure. What I'm taking away is that there's absolutely no leadership in the RCMP. Um, how do you not know what's going on? You're the commissioner. Lucky promised the RCMP is closely monitoring the inquiry and making notes of her commitments for follow through. And she said she understands there will be serious work to do when the commission delivers its final report in November. Shana Lux, CBC News, Halifax.